everybody is singing his praise, but if you ask me, I'm still not singing him my praise. Not because of, well, how he is. No, he's actually showing remarkable uh, achievements here. It's just that I do not like his antisocial behavior. His goal is very noble, but the rest is not at all. So, well, this is the Book of No Hero Academia, chapter 195, and I am the Anger in FM. So, well, the class has mixed reception on one seeing that. A lot of the things, uh, many are excited, others is, well, not so much. So, well, uh, however, Shinsu doesn't necessarily greet them by saying all that we have exchanged blows, but, she, but he is not some good na natured person who will hold back in sportsmanship because he is desperate. The words he's saying, uh, uh, I will become a great hero so that I can use my quirk to help others. I find that to be very noble. Uh, and, but I do not like when he says, all of you here today are obstacles that I must overcome. I have no intention of making friends. But uh, the others actually only clap at that sight because, well, for them, they feel like they have heard that before. Because, well, that was exactly what Todoroki said during the sport festival, when he was introduced, mind you. So, I mean, I like the fact that he wants to really do help people. I do not like the fact that he has no intention of making friends. You don't seem to understand. The business is saying that we, they need to cooperate with people. That's the difference. So, either way, the training court is class A versus class B. It's just like Momota wanted it to be. So, a team of four against four. But Shinsu is an odd number, so he will actually enter uh, uh, one. Um, uh, so he will enter one for each uh, class, so to speak. So, um, so um, but there, while many say that will be an odd number if Shinsu enters because it will be five, Shinsu still doesn't have any experience fighting besides them. Not to mention the fact that well, he did have no intention of making friends. Somebody tells me he is going to use this all by himself. So, um, the theme of this is that every group will consider each other's groups as villains and heroes. They must capture them and stop them inside a cage. So, um, uh, so the handicap is once either team captures four members of the other, uh, that, that's the handicap. So, um, but uh, it doesn't matter if Shinsu makes one of a five. If all four have captured, then there's automatically the down. So, well, uh, with that, uh, uh, the team is uh, fast. Ibara, Ibara Shusaki, Yurota Shisira, Hiryurin, and Kosei Tsubasa versus, uh, versus Suyu, Koda, Kaminiri, and uh, uh, Kirishima. After that, we have also another t uh, battle fist of the Mushroom Girl battle fist. Uh, Darkness Boy, uh, comic book guy versus Suyu versus uh, Kiri, uh, Momo, uh, Yaomomo, Aoyuoma, Invincible Girl, as well as, well, Tokuyami. And we finally see uh, the Pony Girl, Pony, uh, the other shadow guy, another guy on Tetsu Tetsu versus Tailman. Uh, Ojiro, the Shosi, Todoroki, and of course uh, Ida, who's doing a very strange uh, salute. The buggy guy, the lizard girl, and another guy, and the melting guy versus Sero, uh, Bakugo, Jiro, and Sugar Man. And here is the real strange: it's Copycat Momota versus uh, no. Momoto Yui, the Battle Fist guy, and uh, another guy don't, ver versus uh, Urum versus Uchaku, Deku, Mineta, and uh, well, Mina. I find that very strange is the fact that the copy guy, what happens if he touches one for all? Is he able to even copy that ability? Somebody tells me that's going to be easy. So, well, Shinzo pulls out the different ones, one from each team. Then he has, enters the first one, which is uh, Tsuyu's team. And the second team is none other than Momota's team. So, well, I'm just saying, this is going to be a revenge match. While at the same time, Deku wonders those versatiles was the first time he said when he actually fought against Shinzo. So he wonders about the connection. Either way, the team begins, and uh, the matches up begin. It's class A all move out as they all try to communicate together. Um, 
so uh, together with Shinso, but that is not really some working. They are also mentioning that Denki's uh, power is useless against Ibarra, which is true after all we saw that in Sportar's lol. And Shinso is lacking battle experience, even though his quirk is strong. So well, uh, but then suddenly the Beastman comes and knocks out, uh, or it knocks knocks away Kirishima. As we see for the first time his uh, quirk, uh, and they all mentioned that uh, uh, that that they are doing differently. Yurota Shinsu, that was his name, and his quirk is Beast, as we have heard before. Turns out that he can change into a beast. With doing that, will increase his physical muscle strength, hearing, sense of smell, and vision. However, transforming, he gets extremely high. I guess that means he becomes a little bit of a berserker. So, well, uh, there's also many debates and wonders which class will eventually win. Class A has more experience than Class B. However, it's revealed that Class B has higher grades than Class A and also have honed their skills. So one wonders what happened. So the Beastman gets stopped thanks to uh, uh, Shinzo's brainwashing as it reveals that indeed the mask he has on him is a voice modulator, allowing him to uh, copy someone else's voices. And as we all know, the key of his brainwashing is that someone has to answer him. It's revealed it doesn't have to be his voice. He can voice modulate it, stopping uh, the beast man in his tracks. It's an artificial vocal course, persona code. Brainwashing complete. So one wonders if exactly how that will do. Also turns out that the wind, uh, the one blow air tunnel has developed his quirk well. It has some sweet action of it all, but again, I have mixed opinion on Shinso. I am not here to make friends. Granted, that makes sense. It's just that uh, I think he has to make friends if he actually wants to change. Right now he's currently like Todoroki as before. However, now he has brainwashed uh, the beast guy. So I wonder... Is it possible that uh, Shinzo is gonna defeat all this team alone? I mean, he needs to work together with other people. Either way, all the different teams are very exciting. I'm looking forward to see that. I at least hope we can see at least one of each of the different quirks from Class B and the others. But the team which Shinzo is teaming up with Class B's uh, Memento, the, the copycat guy, that have me extremely worried. It wouldn't surprise me if Deku loses that fight. But also, Ushako is once again on Deku's team. I mean, I'm not complaining about that, but it's uh, doing a pattern here that Ushako is always on Deku's team. I mean, there are some who is criticizing that she's becoming a satellite love interest, but, and I guess this is not exactly doing it any favors, but you know what I mean. So yeah, will Shinzo win this fight all alone? And if he does win, will he really be transferred? He needs to change his character. Other than that, he really wants to save people. So he is... He's an antisocial guy. But he is not a buckaboo jerk. He really wants to save people. I guess that's something. So I guess we'll see what happens. But I'm again, I was mostly worried about the copycat situation. If he copies all for one, and if Shinzo uses his brainwashing on Deku, isn't it possible that he can find out if uh, Deku, uh, uh, the power of Deku is real one for all. You can like and subscribe if you want to and give me your thoughts if you have any.